We are live, and today Chris wants to talk about how to set up the back end for pass keys for the Microsoft Authenticator app on Microsoft 365. So there's a couple settings your IT people need to switch on in order for you to go passwordless and use pass keys from your iPhone or Android device. So Chris, yeah. maybe you could just give us a quick rundown of that. Yep. So in the Microsoft Admin Center here, you're going to click Identity on the bottom. If you don't see this, it might be like this. Just click show more, show all, and choose identity. Once you're at the main, if I go home here, once I'm here, I'm going to scroll down. I have it saved, but you go down to protection, and then it's authentication method. Here, you can see what you're allowing. So it's the pass key FIDO2. So you want it enabled. Maybe you only want a, a group of users or a single user. You can get granular with it. And then configure here. I believe I will add a link to the video where you have a lot of people are having this like that. By default. It's yeah. Like that. And they're saying for broad availability or something. But if you set all this to yes, you can do the Authenticator app, which is in preview. But you can add a, the AGUID. So it'll let you add it. So say you want Apple Passkey or Bitwarden's Passkey. You can actually add those pass keys in here to allow them to be used to store pass keys so you can go password lists with phishing resistant sign in or whatever they're calling it nowadays. Okay. So how so those two A A A U I the A GUIDs, the basically it's like the Entra GUID ID. What where does that why did you already have two in there? Because that's adding just the Microsoft ones. So it adds two of them. Oh, okay. By okay. default, it's adding yeah. the Microsoft ones. Okay. So, so go ahead. There's also certificate based authentication. We're not going to get into that. I wanted to bring this up real quick so you knew what those settings are. So enforce pass key FIDO2. It tells you what we just what I just went to shows you right here. We'll try to add the link to that article yeah. right there. But it's pretty simple. Like Chris showed, if you check the radio button and slide them over to yes basically it enables it and everything goes from being grayed out to i got uh, it allowing you to access the end user to set up pass keys from their phone so right now pass keys for microsoft authenticator at least are unattested attestation support there for pass keys is planned for future so that's not you can't use that yet so right here setting this to yes it needs to be no it's a, for future release they're doing that okay so i don't think can, it's going to make a difference though if you put yes then and I don't think it's going to Well, no, they're saying it's anything. not. Yeah, no, I, I don't know. They're just saying it's not out yet. Okay. All right. Good. So we'll we'll add that link also to the list. Was there anything else you wanted to say about turning that on? Yeah. So I think the reason why it's adding two of these, you asked why there's two there. I think it's for Android and iPhone. There's two different versions. The Android okay. version of the app and the iPhone version of the app. Okay. Got it. Got it. All right. We'll close it there. Hey, thanks. Thanks for showing us that, Chris. All righty. Bye. Bye.